Okay. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. How are you today? Thank you so much for joining. We're going to have another class here I'm soon. As you may know, we're working with this module, which is pre-intermediate. Module number three, we're going to have evening. section number five. Good evening and welcome. Section number five is the one we're working here. And we're going to work on that one today. We're going to have more examples uh, so you can uh, practice a little bit more here. And we just think that it's called future with present continuous and be going to. Okay, uh, this is pre-intermediate module three, class number 14. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Section number five, as you may see, is the one we're working. This is I'm going to a soccer match. That's the title of this section. That the one that you uh, did. Yes, which is pretty much good. Thank you so much for all the work you've been doing in this module. Yes, and don't forget to practice your English at home. I know your relatives with the phrases, right? Repeat the phrases and practice the vocabulary as well at home. Sorry about it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so practice uh, the vocabulary, the phrases at home. Practice the phrases with your with your children, if you have, or with your husband or with your wife. Yes, so let her know. Oh, good morning. It's nice to have you. Yes. Uh, would you like a cup of coffee? Yes. Uh, would you like some semita alta? Your coffee? Yeah. So practice the phrases at home so you can improve little by little. So uh, we're going to have a video. Yesterday we started a little bit on this one. So I would like to play a video for you so you can um, remember how this thing works. Yeah. Please listen and watch. And then we're going to have more examples about this one just to be clear about the content in here. Okay. So here we go. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we list stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to, to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus a verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. 
WH question word plus B plus subject plus verb plus ING plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Hi. Yesterday we were working a little bit on this thing that is called the future, right? Like the movies, Back to the Future. We have two ways here. The first one is about the present continuous tense and with be going to plus a verb. The difficult one I think is the with present continuous because with present continuous, as you may know, we have different uses, yeah? Here we have it with future, yeah? And the other one be going to is just for future. That's the easy part, right? So you can say, oh, it's easy because if I go use going to, I'm talking about the future, but with present continuous, I need to be careful because sometimes that means something else depending on the context. Yeah. Okay. Any question about this? Catherine, Nicole Salazar. Hello. Can you participate, Catherine? Yes. Thank you. Tell me, please. What do you understand about this? topic Catherine Hello Catherine um. Entiendo que en español <laughs> Okay okay no problem Que usamos el Going to para hablar sobre acciones que vamos a hacer en el futuro. Yes, that is correct. Y, pero tenemos que tener cuidado que es diferente al presente continuo, pero no debemos confundir esa parte. Porque el presente continuo es para cosas que estamos haciendo en el momento. Okay. O en lo que vamos a hacer en un momento cercano y no tanto en un tiempo tan largo como digamos mañana o la próxima semana. Well, based, based on what we have, um, um, Catherine, it's the same. Yeah, this this expression here, this expression, future, is, is lo mismo with this one. Okay? So that means we can use both of them to talk about the future. Yes? That could be tomorrow, tonight, next week, next month. I mean, we can use both of them. And both of them means the same. However, that, way, that thing that you mentioned about be careful with present continuous. Porque en algún momento puede significar, I mean, we are talking about something at the moment, right? In that one, we need to be careful, Catherine. That is correct. But in the whole context, los dos, we can use them to talk about the future. Okay? Yep. Ah, okay. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Somebody else. I don't know if you have a question about this. Eh, Jose Edgardo, is everything clear? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Do you have any question about this topic? No, teacher. Can you explain us, please? What is this thing about? Can you repeat, please? 
Yeah, please. Can you explain to us what is this about? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you if you explain us, you can give us like an explanation about what do you understand about the present. Uh, I'm sorry about the future with present continuous and with B and two. Teacher, uh, I I understand the present continue, uh, the action in the moment. Okay, very good. And be going to is the future action. Cercano, okay. for example, tomorrow uh, I am going to work morning. Mm -hmm. I am going to study at night and uh, I am going to watch TV at night. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Jose. Wonderful. But let me tell you, like, los dos son para future. Okay, los dos. Yeah, los dos. Present mm -hmm. continuous y el otro, P coined. Los dos son para future. Los dos puedo decir yo next week. Los dos puedo decir yo next month. Los dos puedo decir tomorrow. Los dos puedo decir, I don't know, next year. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Lo que sí, you need to be careful, es lo que decía Catherine, con el present continuous, right? Sometimes, for example, for example, Jose, if I have, uh, what are you doing now? You see this question, Jose? What are you doing now? Uh, I am studying English. Okay. Very good. And what about this question? What about this question? What are, I'm sorry, are you doing tomorrow at, I don't know, 7 a.m.? What about this other question, Jose? Uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, I am going to take a shower. Very good. One more time, please. I'm sorry. I am going to take a shower. Okay. So the question is like, what are you going to do? Or the question is, what are you doing? Mm, what are you doing? Exactly, exactly. Wow. So that means you need to answer with present continuous, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the question, if the question, very good, Jose, if the question is, what are you going to do tomorrow? Then you can use, I'm going to work. But if the question is with present continuous, you need to answer with present continuous. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just okay. be careful with that one. Okay, one more time. What are you doing tomorrow at 7 a.m.? ¿Qué estarás haciendo mañana en la mañana? A las 7, va. Estarás mañana en la mañana. La pregunta es futuro, va, teacher. Exactly, very good. That is correct. Because it's future, because, mire, tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Estaba confundido, teacher, porque la vez pasada estaba viendo un tema de esto y me estaban diciendo que para hacer una pregunta en futuro era con going to. Mm -hmm. Y por eso yes. estaba confundido ahorita. Oh, no, mm -hmm. don't worry. Yeah, that, that's why, that's why I, I told you like once, just be careful con el context and don't forget where to be. No se olvide ver to be. Mire, el ver to be, estamos hablando del future. Y aquí está esa cosa, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Aquí está, right? Yeah. But with future, tenemos varias formas to talk about the future. Okay. Tenemos mm -hmm. como cuatro. Ah, yo pensé que solo era el going to y el will, nada más. Eh, no. Tenemos este que es present continuous. Tenemos el simple present también. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. right. es que so, sí, me habían explicado el present continuous solo para acciones en, en el momento. Por eso estaba ex, confundido. Exacto. So, en ese contexto, lo que estaba diciendo Catherine is very important, porque usted tiene que fijarse en los details. Mm -hmm. En los details. For example, aquí dice now. Mm -hmm. Ahora. 
Ok, ahorita, right? Ahorita estoy hablando, so that means now. Pero si aquí dice tomorrow, that means future. Exactly. Entonces, you need to be careful with details. Aquí con present continuous. Porque como usted dijo, with be going to, ahí don't worry, right? So ya sé que ese siempre is going to be future. Always is going to be future, right? But... Y estoy tomando un baño, es como sería. I am going, no, sería I am doing, say a shower. No, I am taking a shower. I am taking a shower, ah, okay. Yeah, but that is that is uh, action happening at the moment or that is future? The future, quiero decir. Okay, so remember, this that is something future, you need to add vocabulary related to the future. Yes? Oh. You know what I mean? So, for example, are you, are you taking a shower tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You see, the word tomorrow makes the, the context future. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you going to buy, I don't know, clothes on Black Friday? Black Friday is when? Is the future, right? Is Black Friday is coming, so it's going to be on Friday. Yes. Are you having a party on, on the weekend? Yes, so the weekend is the future. Mm -hmm. Yes, but if I ask you, for example, Ana Isela, what are you doing now? Um, listening in the class. Very good. Yeah, so in that context, I ask her, what are you doing now? So the expression now is at the moment. Yes, so that's why she's saying, I am watching. Right, so you need to be careful with present continuous because of that, because of the context. Yes, Teacher, and yes. And ante la pregunta, where are you doing tomorrow at seven a.m.? Uh, I can, I can ask. I'm going to the work. Uh no, in that no. one. I'm sorry. No, let me help you here. Just give me a minute. You need to answer with present continuous. Okay, let me stop it okay. here. Give me a minute. When somebody asks you with present continuous, you need to answer with present continuous, right? For example, um, what, oh geez, what are you doing tomorrow? This is present continuous or is going to? Present continuous. Present continuous, so you need to answer with present continuous, right? You can say, I am working yes i am i don't know having having a meeting yes yes i am oh my gosh i'm sorry i am buying um things at the market. Oh, Jesus Christ. At the market. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So that means if the question is present continuous, you need to answer present continuous. Yes. I'm working and having a meeting and buying things at the market. Yes. Present continuous, answer present continuous. But if somebody asks you, for example, what are you going to do tomorrow? That is, be going to. Okay. Yes, going to do. Look at this one. I have this a word with this means to do. Yeah. Right, so in that one, we need to say, oh, I'm um, sorry. I am going to, I don't know, play tennis. Yes, so if you see the structure is, is the same. Going, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. 
I am going to, going to, going, mire, to do, I am going to. So you need to be careful with this one, right? When you have present continuous, you need to answer with present continuous. If you have a question with going to, you gotta work with going to. Yep. Okay. Okay, thank you, Tisha. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you thank so you. much. Any any other question? Do you have another question here? No? Okay, doggy. Let's carry on. We're gonna have some exercises for you here. Let's practice page here. one hundred identify what's the sentence about. Is that the present or that's the future? P with present and F for future. Why are you wearing shorts? It's called, that's present. What about number two? Present or future? Future. That's future, okay, thank you. What about number three? Why did I future? Future. Okay, thank you so much. What about number four? Present. 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 That's present. Very good. What about number five? Present. Future. That's future. That's correct. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, this is the way we would do it, right? Um, are you going to see a movie tonight? Yeah, that's that's future. Any question about this? Irma Suleima, please read the questions, please. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, why are you wearing wearing church? It's a cool. What are you wearing to the party on Friday? What are, what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing? Can you please see who at the door? Are you going to see a movie tonight? In here is where you need to work with the context. If the context is about the future, like if the context is about the present. Let's take a look up some exercises here. These ones are easy, I guess. Complete the conversation, use be going to. Okay, it says what, in parentheses we have some. What are you and Tony going to do tonight? What is the next one? Uh huh. Anybody? Okay. We are going to try. Yeah. Oh, very good. That is correct. Okay, I'm gonna use contraction. Oh my gosh. We're going to try. So we're going to try. Okay, we're going to try Chinese restaurants. Do you want to come? I love to. What time? R, that is correct. What is next? You're going to go. Very good. What are you going to go? What are you going to go? What time are you going to go? We, I'm sorry, we, what's next? Mm-hmm. We are going to meet. Very good. We're going to meet. Okay, we're going to meet. Very good. Uh, at Tani's house at seven. And don't forget an umbrella. The weather forecast says it is going to rain. Very good. Perfect. Right. Uh, it's going to rain. That is correct. It's going to rain tonight. Okay, let's work with number two. Where are you? Okay, very good. Are you? What is next? 
going to go on vacation. Exactly. Are you going um to go? Are you going to go on vacation this year? What is next? I am going to visit. Very good. Um, I'm going to visit. Okay. Visit. I'm going to visit my cousins in Paris. It. Yeah, what's next? Going to be. Exactly right, piece of cake. Thank you so much. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great. Well, Uh -huh. I am not. Very good. I am not. What is next? I'm going to go. Okay. I am um not going to go. Very good. So I I am not going to go anywhere this year. What is next? Uh huh. I'm going to stay. Oh, that's wonderful. Going to stay. Yes. I'm going to stay. Um, that's not so bad. Just think about all the money you. You are going to. Uh huh. Very good. Going to save. Very good. You're going to save. Thank you so much. Okay. So, if you see, it's not too complicated, right? Andrea Esmeralda Flores, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Thank you. That's that's nice of you, Diana. Can you participate, Diana? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Diana. You are going to be in exercise number one. You are going to be letter. A, and you, John Lady, okay. Andrea, you are letter B. Okay. Ready? Let's begin. What are you and Tony going to do tonight? We're going to try the new Chinese restaurant. Do you want to come? Hello, to What time are you going to go? We're going to meet at Tim's house at 7 uh, o'clock and don't forget an umbrella ah, the weather forecast say it it's going to rain tonight mm -hmm. thank you so much very good Jorge <laughs> Jorge excuse me Jorge you're going to work with number two letter A Jorge that is you Okay, Marvin. Hello, Marvin. You are going to be letter B in number two. Okay. Okay, teacher. Ready, Jorge? I think, I think like he's busy. Jorge Edgardo Mendez, can you participate? Yes or no? No, I think he's not. Right. Yeah. Anna, please, can you help us with letter A? Thank you. Go ahead. Where are you going to go on vacation this year? I am going to visit my cousins in Paris. It is going to be great. Well, I'm not going to, to go um, anywhere this year. I'm going to stay home. That's not so bad. Just think about all oh, the money you're going to save. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Give me some time while I take the attendance. 
When you hear your beautiful name, please say present or I'm here. Thank you so much for all the effort you did on the platform. That's very nice of you. Congrats. Very good. That means you saw into this module. Wonderful. Ana Isela Janes Angel. Present. Thank you so much. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. I think Ana is here, but she's just listening in the class, right? Ana, thank you so much for being here, Ana, and it's nice to have you. Ana Ruth, very good. Thank you so much. Um, Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Thank you, Andrea. Present teacher. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Hello, Diana. Present teacher. Eh, Francisco Valdomar López Martínez. Are you here, Francisco? Let me check if, if Francisco is. No, he isn't. Okay, he's not here. What about Gerardo Jose Tepa Sanchez? I'm here, teacher. It's nice to have you, Gerardo. Good evening. Irma Suleima Grande de Cuellar. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Jose Edgardo Mendez Miranda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nice to have you. Um, Catherine Suleima Bocasangre Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. I'm here. It's nice to have you. Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Thank you, Kathy. Marvin Alejandro Landaverde Arias. Present teacher. Good evening, gentlemen. Oscar Otoniel Guzman. Present. Thank you so much, Oscar, and welcome. Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto. Present. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Good evening. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernandez. Present. Teacher. Thank you so much for being here, all of you. It's nice to have you one more time. We're going to keep practicing this thing that is called future with going to. Okay. Okay, let me check the chat really quick. Thank you, Anna. No problem. I understand. Thank you so much for joining and being here. Okay. Uh, we're going to have this one. Again, we're going to use going to end the verb in parentheses. What are you going to do this weekend, Hannah? What is the next one? Mm -hmm. Yes. I am going, I am to, going go. to go. Oh, very good. I am going to go to a jazz concert on Saturday. That sounds interesting. Yeah. There's a free concert in the park. What about you, Stacy? Well, Ryan and I... Mm -hmm. I'm going to see. Excuse me? I'm going to see. Okay, this is singular or plural? Um, singular. No, I'm sorry. Plural, sorry. Exactly, exactly. Because I have two, right? I have Ryan here. I have Ryan and then I have myself. So I mean plural. What is the verb to be that goes with plural? Uh-huh. Are. Exactly, very good. All right, okay. What is next? Going to see. Okay, very good. Wonderful. Going to see. Okay. Well, Ryan and I are going to see a baseball game in the afternoon. And what is next? Mm -hmm. Are you going to go? Okay, very good. And what are you going to do, right? Going to do. What are you going to do? Ryan says um, his mother in the hospital. Mm-hmm. What is next? Any idea? He is going to visit 
Oh, Ryan is going to visit. Very good. Is going to visit. Okay. Visit. Okay. Uh, but what is next? I am not going to do anything really. Okay, very good. Okay, going to do, sorry, to do anything really. Well, well. I am going to have. Exactly, very good. Going to have. In this part, sometimes people use I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna just to short the phrase, right? So if you have the chance um, to do it, you can um, you can do it, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. What are you gonna do? Yeah, if you have the chance to do it, when you speak, do it, that's the problem. We're gonna have, let me see, Kathy. Can you participate, Kathy? Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Sebastiana, can you participate? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Wonderful. You are Stacy, Sebastiana, and Hannah. That is you, Kathy. When you finish, change roles. Let's begin. What are you going to do this weekend, Hannah? I'm going to go to a jazz concert on Saturday. That sounds interesting. Yeah, there's a free concert in the park. What about you, Stacy? Well, Ryan and I are going to see a baseball game in the afternoon. And what are you going to do uh, in the evening? Ryan is going to visit his mother in the hospital, but I am not going to do anything really. Well, I'm going to have some friends over for barbecue. Would you like to come? Thanks. I'd love to. What are you going to do this weekend, Hannah? I am going to go to a jazz concert on Saturday. That sounds interesting. Yeah, there's a free concert in the park. What about you, Stacy? Well, Ryan and I are going to see a baseball game in the afternoon. And what are you going to what are you going to do in the evening? Ryan is going to visit his mother in the hospital, but I am go I am not going to do anything really. Well, I am going to have some friends over for a barbecue. Would you like to come? Thanks. I love to. Very good. Okay. Roberto Carlos, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Wonderful. You're going to be Stacy. Okay. Okay. Your partner is going to be Marvin. Marvin, you're going to be Hannah. When you finish, please change the role. Okay, teacher. What, what are you going to do this weekend, Hannah? I'm going to go to Hat concert on Saturday. That's so interesting. Yeah, there is a free concert in the park. What a, what about you? It's Thursday. Where Ryan, where Ryan and I are going to see a baseball game in the afternoon. And what are you, I'm sorry, and what are you going to do in the evening? Ryan is going to visit his mother in the hospital, but I am not going to do anything really. Well, I'm going to have some friends over for a barbecue. Would you like to come? I love it so. Okay. What are you what are you doing this weekend, Hannah? Thanks. 
Thanks, I love it too. Now it changes the rule, Roberto. Now me start. What are you what are you going to do this weekend, Anna? You need to continue with the next Roberto with Anna. I'm going to go and continue. I'm going to go to a jazz concert on Saturday. That's so interesting. Yeah, there is a free, there is a free concert in the park. What about you, Stacy? Stacy. Where, where Ryan and I are going to see a box, box, basketball game in the afternoon. And what are you going to do in the evening? Ryan is going to visit his mother in the hospital, but I am not going to do anything really. Well, I am going to have some friends over for a barbecue. Would you like to come? Thanks. I would love. I I would love to. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Wonderful. Thank you, Irma, Suleima. You are going to be Stacy. Your partner is going to be uh, Gerardo. Can you participate, Gerardo? Yes or no? Yes, sure. of course, teacher. Excuse me. I have a question about in the park. What is the bas basketball game? I believe uh -huh. that is a mistake, right? No. Oh, it's correct. Bas basketball. Basketball. In mm, baseball. No, it's baseball. Baseball. Ah, baseball. Ah, okay. Yes, baseball. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's okay, Gerardo. You're going to be Gerardo, Hannah, and then you change roles when you finish, okay? Okay. What are you doing, going to do this weekend, Hannah? I am going to go to a jazz concert on Saturday. Thanks. So it's Thursday. Yeah, there is a free concert in the park. What about you, Stacy? Well... Well, Ryan, uh, and I, I am, I am, I are going to see a basketball game in the afternoon. And what are you going to do in in the evening? Right, he's going to visit his mother in the hospital, but I am not going to do anything real, real, really. Well, I am going to have some friends over for a barbecue. Would you like to come? Thanks, I love to. Okay, I'm gonna be safe. What are you, what are you going to do this weekend, Hannah? I am going to go to a jazz concert on Saturday. <laughs> That sounds interesting. Yeah, there is very free concert in the park. What about about you, Stacy? Stacy? Well, well, Ryan, and I'm going to see a baseball game in the afternoon. Ah, what are you doing? Going to do in the evening? Ryan is going to visit his mother in the hospital, but I am not going to do anything really. Well, I am going to have some friends over for a barbecue. Would you like to come? <clears throat> that I love to. Thank you so much. Very good. 
Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so this is the word we're going to wear with um, this thing that is called future with going to. Yes, uh, you can use going to, you can use also present continuous. Yeah, you can use both of them when it comes to communicate something in the future. For example, when somebody asks you, what are you going to do on the weekend? Yes, you can use present continuous or you can use going to. But just be careful with the question, right? If somebody asks you, what are you going to do on the weekend? What is that? Present continuous or be going to? Be going to. Excuse me? Be going to. Exactly. That's be going to. So that means your answer is going to be with that structure. Be going to. Okay, for example, if I ask you, uh, Sebastiana, what are you doing this weekend? I, I am, what are you doing? Mm, I am uh, working uh, in my clinic. This week? This weekend. What are you doing this weekend? The this weekend. Week. Oh, so you, you work on Saturday and Sunday? Sometimes. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, money, right? Yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so you, exactly, right? Oh, you, you need to pay uh, El Chumpe and a bunch of, I don't know, things yeah. on Black <laughs> Friday, so you gotta have money. Very good, okay? But now if I ask you, Isela, uh, Anna Isela Janice, what are you going to do? Um, let's say on on Christmas. What are you going to do on Christmas? Um, I am to celebrate uh, with my family. Mm -hmm. What about In the, the food? Christmas? What are you going to cook? Ah, uh, uh, um, pane con pollo, <laughs> tamales. Okay, very good. Uh, what else? Yes. So that Nothing. means you you are going to cook tamales. You are going to cook uh, panes con pollo, right? Yeah. yeah, very good. Yeah. What about a gallina India? Yeah, do you like that? No, you don't like no. it. Oh, that's that's, like. that's a surprise. That's a surprise. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. Let's have another uh, practice here. Let's take a look here. Let me show you, uh, Kathy. Look at the picture, Kathy, and describe it. What do you see there? Um, he's a basketball player, and he's playing basketball. Thank you. Do you like basketball, Kathy? Yes, I like to play basketball. Oh, very good. How often do you play that? Like twice a week. Like twice a week? Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Um, but what's your favorite, like, what's your favorite, I don't know, basketball player? What's your favorite basketball player? Um, my favorite is Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah, it was That's good. why uh, my father put me Jordana. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Yes. Oh, and that's why your dad get you into this basketball thing? Uh, yes, kinda. Oh. oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Yeah, I never thought about it, okay? Oh, that's, that's quite interesting, okay? Um, thank you so much. Okay, very good. Um, do me a favor, uh, read number one and then do number three, Kat. Number two, Kathy, please, thank you. Okay. 
Um, there's a basketball game on TV tonight. Do you want to watch it? I'm sorry, I'm working late tonight. Number two. Would you like to have dinner at Bella's Bistro tonight? What's the correct option? Sorry, I'm going awake. No. Yes, that sounds great, but it's my turn to pay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Yeah, that is correct. That is the correct option here. So you see here, her answer. Oh my gosh, let me move it here. Let me move this thing to the other side. Oh, come on. It doesn't allow me to do it. Okay, I'm sorry. Her answer is this one. Okay. Yes, that sounds great. But it's my turn to pay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, uh, let me see another one. Oscar, can you participate? Oscar, the number three is going to be for you. Do you want to? Do you want to go hiking tomorrow? I think the answer is sure, I would love to. That is correct. Very good. Sorry, give me a minute. Sorry about it. Okay, uh, very good. So, sure, I'd love to. Very good. Diana, Cristabel Melendez, number four is for you, please. Thank you. How about going to a movie on Saturday? I think mm -hmm. nothing special. Thank you so much, Diana. Okay. Uh, but I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay, so we have two other options, Diana. We have number one, I'm so, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. And we have Diana, the number three. No, I wouldn't. Which one do you think is Diana? In number four. Which one do you think is in number four, Diana? This, this one is incorrect. So this one, no. So do we have this option here and this one at the end? Which one do you think? Um, uh, um, no, I won't. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Yes. The correct option is this one. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Pretty for Casey is I am. It's going to. Oh, yes. What happened is, how about going to a movie on Saturday? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. Okay. Do you remember the expressions that we were working? I think that was yesterday. Like to refuse. Do you remember when we were refusing invitations? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. So in that one, in that one, we saw some some phrases that we can use when we want to refuse invitations, right? And uh, if you see this one, like somebody is inviting you. Oh. How about going to a, a movie on Saturday? So you need to refuse, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, okay. so oh, that's, that's why, that's why. Thank you so much, very good. Okay, let me let me delete this part here. And here we go. 
Yeah, let me see. Okay. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Okay. Then we're going to have some things about inviting people. Look at this one. We have some events here on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And we are going to make some examples about inviting people to these events. For instance, are you doing anything on Monday evening? Do you want to see a pop concert? Or you can say, are you going to the Ali Galdin concert on Monday? Would you like to come? Yes. So we are going to invite people to this event. How do you do that? How can you invite people to events? Uh huh. How how do you invite people to events? Any idea? How do you do this? Okay, so let's let's pretend that because we're gonna work with Tuesday, right? Summer festival. Let's do for every loves to do for everyone. Okay, if you want to invite somebody, how would you invite somebody? Uh huh. What is the sentence? Where that comes to your mind when you want to invite somebody to a, a summer festival. Yes. How would you invite somebody to, to this? Okay. Let me give you a hint here, right? Um, would you? Okay. Please go ahead. Would you? Would you? Okay. Would you? What is next? Uh, would you would you come to summer festival on Tuesday? Would you, would you like to um to, to come, come? Yeah, to the summer festival on Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, this is an invitation, right? Would you like to come to the summer festival? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not festival. It's festival. Okay, very good. Would you like to come to the summer festival on Tuesday? Yeah, that's an invitation, right? So you're inviting somebody, yeah, to come and enjoy this festival. Very good. Also, we have other events like on Wednesday and also on Thursday. What is another way to invite somebody? Musical. That's what we have on Wednesday. Okay. Any idea how how do you do this? Would you like to listen? Okay. Continue. Okay. okay. Would you like? Okay. To listen to music in the person boy. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can say, do you like? Do you like um sorry? Musicals? Yes, do you like musicals? Would you like um to come with me yes yeah so maybe this one right do you like um uh, do you like musicals would you like to come with me or would you like to come to the i don't know jersey boys uh, festival yeah so you can ask like this one right you can do you like musicals uh would you like to come with me yeah, and, and then the other one also we can say with the typical like on the third right, are um you busy? 
on Thursday. Yeah. Are you busy on Thursday? Yeah. Like, do you want to um, um want to see the um, I don't know. I'm sorry. See the museum. Yeah. Do you want to see the museum? Yes, and here we can invite people, right? Are you busy? Are you busy on Thursday? I'm sorry, I have a mistake here. Are you busy on Thursday? Do you want to see the museum? Yeah, right. This is the way we can invite people um, to events, right? You can have different options. Yeah, you can change also the sentences if you want to do so. Yeah, when it comes to inviting people to events. Remember that we're talking about events yeah uh, but these are just invitations we're going to stop it here because it's time so you can rest don't forget that tomorrow we have classes and don't forget to practice your english take care bye-bye good night good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. wonderful